Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about how to add fluency for everyone in your classroom to help students increase their math skills and competency. Where do you start? The goal of addition fluency is to teach your students how to recall addition facts. Let's say that again. The goal of addition fluency is to teach your students how to recall addition facts. Goals are good to know because that's where you're going, that's where you're headed. The end goal here for addition fluency is to have your students be able to recall their addition facts with no errors. When your students know how to use addition math facts through conceptual learning, they will succeed. How can you help your students master addition fluency? Addition fluency is a way of teaching math skills to your students in a meaningful way with fact strategies and memorization, Teaching addition fluency doesn't have to be stressful or overwhelming. Let's look at the following steps for addition fluency in your classroom. In the introduction video to math fluency, we talked about what math fluency is. We usually hear it called math fact fluency. Students are able to quickly recall addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division facts. This fact fluency extends through middle school. Students need to be able to quickly recall those math facts through conceptual learning, fact strategies, and memorization. Now we've talked about the four key components in the last video. Today we're gonna to look at how the four key components are applied to addition fluency and the resources you can use in your classroom now to help your students. Part one of addition fluency is flexibility. Having flexibility teaching math facts happens when students interact with addition to develop conceptual understanding. Students are exploring addition facts to build the foundation of math fluency. Let's look at some examples. Teaching flexibility for addition fluency is using counters, using manipulatives to add within five for kindergarten and then to add to 20 in first grade. So here's an example picture of adding manipulatives to add two red bears and one blue bear, you will get three bears in total. By using the manipulatives, it helps students start to develop a concrete understanding of each number being added. This is also a great time to introduce terms such as add-in, combined, plus, equals, and sum. Students need to be introduced correctly to these terms to develop an appropriate understanding of addition. Part two of addition fluency are addition strategies. This is where students choose the addition strategy to use. It must be an appropriate strategy for addition fluency. Let's look at the top eight addition strategies. Here they are. Adding zero is any number plus zero is always the original number. Here is one plus zero, which equals one, the original number. So adding zero does not change the original number. It stays the same. Number two, doubles. Doubles are the same number added twice. So two numbers added together equal a sum that is double the original number. For example, two plus two equals four. Number three, counting forward, using a number line to count forward by ones. Number four, drawing a picture. Students can draw a picture with dots, tally marks, or a 10 frame. Number five, make 10. Students can use addition fact families of 10 to quickly find sums of 10. Number six, doubles plus one. This is where students use their prior knowledge of doubles to come to the conclusion that if they look for a double close to their problem, they can solve it. For example, if a close double is four plus four equals eight, then the problem four plus five is easily solvable because that is nine. Number seven, commutative property is the order of the numbers added does not change the sum. For example, five plus three equals eight and so does three plus five equal eight. Number eight, part, part, whole. Now this is a good strategy for addition and subtraction because we're understanding that the whole equals one part plus one part and this leads into subtraction. Here's the example of one part plus two parts equals three whole. 
If you want this resource, Addition Strategies Poster, you can find it in the link to download in the description of this video. Part three of addition fluency is efficiency. Specifically, when we are talking about math fluency of math facts, it is done quickly rather in two seconds or less to recall a math fact. As this continues to extend into middle school, math facts for grades six and beyond will also need to be recalled quickly. So let's look at different ways to assess addition fluency. There are three ways to assess for efficiency. First, a time test can be done in two minutes or less. Students demonstrate on paper which facts they know quickly within a two minute timer. Number two, a running record. This demonstrates how your students are applying strategies to solve math facts. Students share their thinking to solve the math fact problem and then give the answer. Running records primarily track growth from one period of a time to another. And number three, an interview. This is given orally by the teacher and ask the student to solve each addition fact to the teacher without necessarily having a timer present, but rather answering within a timely manner. This can take the stress or anxiety of a time test off of students. Part four of math fluency is accuracy. It's the last part and probably the most important one. Practicing and memorizing addition facts are accurate and correct only. Be sure to make corrections and share with students only correct answers. Let's look at some ways to practice and memorize correct facts. Number one, flashcards are a great way to master math fact fluency for addition, but even better is when you have a partner to check your answer for correctness. It's also excellent to use and practice at a math center in your classroom. I encourage parents to keep a set of flashcards in their car. It's a great use of time when you're in the car to get a little bit more practice in. These addition flashcards are in the Teaching Math and More shop. Number two, practice. Math fluency practice can be easy as a practice worksheet that kids can color, solve problems. It's great for kids who need the practice but also want to color too. These addition worksheets are in the Teaching Math and More shop. Top technique number three, games. Math games for addition fluency are fun and engaging when they get kids playing together in a group or in a math center in class. This game is addition fluency where you shuffle the cards and add the predetermined add end to the number drawn. So students then have to cover the sum with a counter or a bear counter. And if the player with the most bears wins, that's so fun. Kids can play this game in pairs in your classroom. This addition game is linked in the description of this video in the Teaching Math and More shop. So why is this so important? Well, addition fluency is important because it contributes to students' ability to solve more difficult problems quicker and more accurately. It helps build students' confidence in their math ability to solve difficult problems, and it leads to success in students' future mathematics courses. There is a solution to the problem of teaching addition fluency. Try teaching with the four-part approach. You can plan for fluency of mathematics for your students now. Grab the math fluency notes for this series today. It's a five-part video series about how to achieve math fluency. Each six-minute video will give you tips, strategies, and resources to develop a math fluency plan to meet the needs of all your students. For more information about any of the math fluency series, be sure to check out the description of this video. And also, if you like this video, or if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, make sure that you hit that notification bell. Thank you for supporting Teaching Math and More, and we'll see you next time for video two of the Math Fluency series.